Rail Adventures, Tiz I, Tila, Jihad, Johnny, and now featuring Bon Bonds with Pawn Star Gaming. Guys, this week's video is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, it, we're, we're going to talk a lot about growing plants. Um, you know, Ultima Online Outlands has a really cool system um, about uh, where you find seeds. You put them in these little pots and uh, you put some water on them and they turn into these big plants that you can sell for a lot of money or you can decorate your house with. But first, before we get into all that, you know how it is. We do our beer of the day. Uh, today's beer of the day is really cool. It's from uh, Carbach Brewing Company. They're out of uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, this is called the Hopadilla IPA. Um, kind of like this one because old uh, Armadillo is in sin with me, and I uh, told him I was drinking this one for him today. Uh, there really isn't too much to be said about uh, Carbach Brewing Company. Their website really doesn't say too much uh, about them, but uh, other than they have a different style of beer for everybody, I did notice that on every type of beer they had, they had a couple different versions of it. So that's pretty cool. They also have a really cool looking restaurant uh, down there in Houston, Texas. So if you're ever in the area, go in there and get you some fish and chips. Um, either way, let's give this beer a go. Here we go. Here's to you, Texas. That is the uh, lightest IPA I've ever had. Um, yeah, it's it's good. Uh, easy to drink IPA. I haven't had an easy to drink IPA like that, and I uh, can't think of another one. But that's uh, that's pretty good. Could knock a few of those back pretty quickly. All right, guys, let's get started on today's video and uh, let's grow some plants. All right, so you want to get into planting. All you got to do is have some seeds and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let me tell you, planting is very easy. However, you can get as in-depth with it as you want. The more in-depth you get, the faster things are going to grow, uh, thus decorating your house more or making more profit, however you want to look at it. Um, there's seven different types of seeds. There's the extremely common, there's very common, there's common, uncommon, rare, very rare, and extremely rare. The way you get these is really just by playing the game. Um, also, Discord is a very nice place to go if you want some of the more rare seeds. However, you get these by looting monsters, looting treasure chests, or harvesting, mining, lumberjacking, or fishing. Any of those work. All right, so we've got our seeds. Now we just need somewhere to put them. All we gotta do is you can buy them from an NPC, you can buy them from a blacksmith or craft them yourself. You can buy them from a carpenter or craft them yourself if you have those said trade skills. It goes in that same chronological order as NPC bought, blacksmith made, or carpenter made as far as the bonus value that's going to be given to uh, the plant growth from uh, for the seed. Now. Each plant has a predetermined set of values from your heat source, your water source, and your soil source. Anywhere from zero to 250. You can find this out by using the taste ID skill and then also using a uh, planter spade. Just like with weapons, the type of uh, ingots that you use are going to dictate how powerful that planter spade is and of course your taste ID skill. What this will do is give you a estimated value that is the best suited heat, water, and soil uh, usage for that particular plant. The closer you are to that, the faster the plant grows. Alright, so how do you get water? soil and heat. Let's start with water because it is the most difficult one. Uh, you can get a water bucket from a farmer NPC, the same one that you can buy the uh, NPC bot uh, 
uh, plant bowls and uh, you can just go to any ocean, lake, whatever and double click that and it'll fill it up with water. You can also have a carpenter craft a water tub or a water barrel. This is the most efficient way to get the water. Um, and then you use a water bucket, once again bought from an NPC, the farmer NPC that's just north of Brevelia that we showed you earlier. Um, you double click that and it will fill that up. Then you can use that watering bucket on your plants and it will add water to it. Now for soil. Soil is really simple. Just grab a shovel and double click it on some dirt and there you go. You've got some soil. Next up is heat. Heat's pretty self-explanatory and kind of obvious, but if uh, you've got any type of heat sourcing where from a candle all the way to a forge that you would use to uh, smelt some more, um, you basically the amount of heat that it lets off and how close it is to the plant is how much heat that's going to be given to that. So you might have to do some adjustments in your housing arrangement. Maybe a candle uh, right up next to the plant is the perfect amount of heat that you need, or maybe a uh, brazier uh, four spaces away from it is going to be the uh, massive amount of heat that you need. Whatever it is, play with it, figure it out. Those are the three types of uh, resources that are needed for your plant to grow. So now that you have everything perfectly set up, you have the right amount of soil, water, and your candle is just the perfect amount of uh, tiles away from your, uh, your bowl uh, to give out the um, perfect amount of growth, there's a couple more things. Let's talk about some bonuses, right? So there's fertilizer, there's a water purifier, and there's a, uh, a basic heat source, right? Um, you can get all of these from that same farmer that we keep running over to that's just north of the Aurelia Bank. Now, you can get those same basic things from him, or you can have crafters craft you superior ones. You can get superior fertilizer from a tinker, you can get a superior water purifier from a cook, and then you can even get a superior heat filter from a blacksmith. What's really cool too is that an alchemist can create a superior growth serum. These are the bad mamba jambas. These things right here triple the uh, speed at which your plant grows. So definitely make sure you have an alchemist friend or an alchemist of your own. You can also have a scarecrow made from a tailor, which will help protect you from crow infestations. That's right, there are some things that can randomly occur that can be detrimental to the growth of your plant. Let's talk about a few of those and how to combat those. When you double click whatever plant bowl it is that you decide to go with, you're going to see at the bottom, right under current effects, all kinds of different effects. You're gonna see positive ones and you're gonna see negative ones. By clicking the little blue diamond circle, whatever it is, right below the effect uh, that also has the duration of the effect, it's gonna tell you exactly what that effect does and also what type of effect it is. There's a few different types of effects. You've got your pestilent effects, which can be uh, taken care of with a defoliant. And what that is gonna do is it's going to get rid of one random pestilent effect. Now, that could be a positive one and it could be a negative one. It's completely random. Either way, these are made by cooking skill. The next one is gonna be the Farmer's Al Almanac. That's gonna be made from your scribes. Uh, scribes, uh, they make the Farmer's Almanac and they actually cure or dispel one random creature effect. Once again, it could be a positive effect and it could be a negative effect. Next up is gonna be the fungicide. Fungicide is made by alchemists. They dispel one random fungal effect. So it's a good practice to have each of these on hand at all times. That way you can dispel the negative effects as they come up. All right, guys, don't forget we have our raffle coming right up for your chance to win anywhere from one to 100,000 gold. All you gotta do is just be a subscriber and comment below a suggestion for next week's video that you'd like to see me cover. 
this pretty much does it for the Ultima Online Outlands uh, plant growing mini game we'll call it i'm really not sure either way it's a lot of fun it's something extra to keep up with uh, that can also net you a fair amount of gold or just be something great to help decorate your house keep in mind those plants that i showed you earlier on in the video those are not the specific plants those are just a particular plant for that rarity of a seed there are many and I mean many 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 different plants that you could potentially grow uh, from your plant bowl with your seeds water soil heat uh, superior growth serum uh, you get my point very involved either way let's go ahead and jump into this week's raffle guys as you can see this week's raffle it, it just keeps growing it just keeps growing uh it's getting bigger and bigger that's thanks to you guys i see you guys in discord post in a lot of uh the videos that i've been doing when you're explaining something to a newer player or just for whatever reason thank you very much that means a lot to me and it also helps our, our community to grow and uh, the newer players to stick around longer. So here we are, we have our, uh, our potential winners. Um, let's go ahead and pick one. And we've got Seabass 08505, congratulations, you're our winner. Let's go ahead and see how much money you're gonna win today. Uh, today you are gonna win 69,000 gold. That is a substantial amount better than our last few raffles. I think some of them have been in the single digit. So congratulations, Seabass. All you gotta do, my man, is just message me on Discord and we will uh, get you your check for 69,000 gold.